Organized Mom here and I'm finally here with my dollar store mudroom makeover. Our mudroom is actually doubling as a pantry since our home doesn't have an actual storage space for food. So we use our mudroom as our food storage room as well. It's right off of our garage and so we were having a really bad problem with it being the dumping zone. When everybody comes into the house they just drop everything right here in this room. So I wanted to give it some organization, some neatness, and I wanted it to be pretty as well. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I use our local thrift store and dollar store to give this room a brand new look. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome to my mudroom. I'm gonna give you a quick 360 view so that you can kind of see the room um, in its entirety before I go um, section by section and just sort of describe what I did to organize the space. So here is the door that leads out to our garage. And turning around here, you'll see our food storage area. And on around, you'll see where we hang our coats and hats. And I also have some uh, drawers over there for extra storage and the door here that leads to the rest of the house where we organize our shoes. And then right beside that is our cleaning supply organization here. So first I wanna to talk to you about what I did here to organize this section of the mudroom. I wanted it, number one, to be neat, labeled, and I wanted bins where we could um, have um, specific places for things that needed to be stored. The very top shelf um, is our storage for our hats, gloves, and scarves. Now, all of these bins did come from the dollar store, and I actually took some of the Scotch chalk tape, and I used a permanent chalk marker that I actually found at Target. I just took a piece of that scotch tape and taped it onto the basket and used that permanent, um, why can't I think of chalk, chalk marker to label each individual basket. I did run out so these two aren't um, labeled yet, but they will be. Um, and this one is for our gloves. Now these baskets were the absolute perfect size for our hats, our gloves, and our scarves. And this is actually something that I was having a really hard time figuring out how I was going to store them because they always ended up spread out throughout the house. That's working very well. Oh, there's also some paint supplies up here. My husband um, does like to do some oil painting and so this is where we like to keep them nice and high and away from the kids. So down here are these bins here that I labeled for each person. Down here as well. Each person has their own basket with their name on it as sort of their um, dumping ground, if you will, when they come into the house. So everyone has a place to put, put things that they want to um, keep and know where it is. And my husband actually also has this container here in his to hold his change and things so it doesn't fall through the cracks. Um, this basket actually came from the dollar store. These also came from the dollar store and again labeled with this chalk tape and the permanent chalk marker. Um, Mason and Maddie have smaller bins up here and I, a lot of times, well, there's not a whole lot in her bin right now, but I keep some um, extra diapers, wipes, and powder and things like that that I usually take in the car. So this is the perfect place to hold those types of things as you're running out the door to um, keep them in the car. So this is really handy for that. Mason has some bubbles in his, I believe, and some um, chalk for outside play that we just keep in here nice and high away from the baby. Now this one I haven't labeled yet. I'm still trying to decide if this is gonna be the permanent home for our extension cords. But here are the extension cords that are kept in this bin right here. This is the bin for batteries. And the next one is tools. Here is our hardware bin. Now this is just some uh, additional hardware that I have that wouldn't fit in here. But you know those random pieces of hardware that you kind of find around the house, especially if you have a husband. So um, I needed a place to put that that would you know keep it away from everything else. So here is our hardware bin. Now down here I have a couple of um, shoe bins. 
Now these right here are designated to Maddie because she is a shoe-aholic. She loves shoes and we get a new pair of shoes almost once a week it seems like at Target. So these are um, where those end up and she has access to these so she can come in and try on shoes whenever she wants. Down here is our shoe storage. Now this shoe storage, I don't know what to call it, shelf I guess, um, I actually found at Goodwill. I believe it was $10 and um, I took my label maker and I actually labeled each shelf for the person that is using um, the shelf right below it. So under here would be Gavin's shoes and under here is Jacob's shoes and under here is Jimmy's shoes. Um, and then I have some shoes over here and also in the back of the door. That's kind of our overflow. I have our cleaning supplies nice and high away from the kids. No one can getting into, into any trouble um, with these. I have our paper towels down here and some containers with cat food in it. Um, just some extra hand sanitizer, our vacuum cleaner belts, um, carpet cleaner, bags, and then just some gloves and a, the cup that we used to wash out the um, bathtub. And it just works really well. I like this for keeping our cleaning supplies neat and organized. Now, I do have my kitty litter box in here. <laughs> That's not really optimal since we do store food in here, but you know what? It was really the only place that we had for little Max's kitty litter box. So it has a nice tucked away home right there beside the shoes and it's on the side of the mud room that does not contain any food. So I'm okay with that. It works out. We clean it very regularly and so it works very well. Now right here is our um, marker board. It also has these containers here beside it that is very convenient for holding the markers, for holding change and keys and anything that we need to stay um, contained, you know, that we can grab quickly as we walk out the door. Underneath our um, key, um, key rack, I guess you would say, our key hooks, um, so that we can keep up with our keys as well. Now on the back of the door, I have a mail center. Um, this is where we kind of drop our mail off as soon as we come in through the garage and we organize and sort that mail um, pretty regularly or it stays on our kitchen counter in a heap until I sort through it. Right up there is some more hooks that was actually here when we moved in but I didn't take them down because they did pretty well with keeping up with my purses. Um, that was really the best use for that hook. So I hang my purses there and that seems to be a good little home for them. Now over here we have the food storage. Again, these bins came from the dollar store. Um, the white bins are pretty big and they're working very well with keeping our food contained. I use the chalk tape as well with the permanent chalk marker that I found to label each bin with items that we use um, you know, the most. So the cereal, drink mixes, pancakes and muffins, um, oatmeal, and hot cereal on the top. Now down here, I have some breadings that we use. Um, there was a not enough space here due to this pole right here. So um, I got a shorter bin that has this handle from the dollar store, and this is where we keep Maddie's toddler snacks and juices. Now beside this, um, Bin, I have the riser here for our cans and it actually is expandable so I have it expanded to its full width and we keep our canned foods here and I really like the riser because it is you know allows for you to see all, everything that you have you don't have to go digging for for cans so that's working out really well underneath it I have more of the white bins with labels for sauces for broth for rice pasta and over here, the shorter bin contains snacks. Down here, we have another one for snacks. Um, we have some granola, some raisins, and some chips in this bin. This is our bread and mac and cheese bin because we eat so much macaroni and cheese and we go through so much bread. Um, this is where it gets stored. And as you can see, we are all out. So that is gonna need to be replenished this week. The next bin is our box good so this is where I keep anything that really comes in a box like our pasta salad and things like that our I believe this is like Jiffy Mix cornmeal um, and just things like that the next bin is for popcorn we go through lots of popcorn and so here is our fresh popcorn and 
in this container here that I got at Marshall's is where we keep our microwavable popcorn. Over here is the beans and potatoes bin um, where we keep our dry beans, bagged potatoes, and then this is our boxed mashed potatoes. So underneath here, um, I actually found these drawers at the Goodwill for $9.99. And I decided to use these in the mudroom to store our bottled water. We buy lots and lots of bottled water and it seems to never really have a home. Um, there's not always room and space in the refrigerator for that, so I figured that this would be the perfect storage solution for that. I took my label maker, made it for bottled water. Um, same thing down here, but actually right now the top one is being used for our bottled Pepsi, which is, I know, terrible, but we do like our Pepsi in this house. So that is for our Pepsi, and then the bottom drawer is for our water. This bin is actually a Target bin that I found at the Goodwill. So I got this bin, it's a great size, and I found it at the Goodwill today, actually, for $2.99. Now, I, th I thought it was the perfect place to put the cat food in, so that's gonna be where the cat food home is. Um, we have a little trash can there, and then over here, I have some more um, drawers and shelves that were actually bought at the Goodwill as well. Each of those were probably, I'm wanting to say they were $9.99 a piece. Um, and I think I got them about the same time that I got that set as well. So um, up here, I'm just gonna talk about what's in the drawers and then I'll talk about the top. So what I keep in these drawers are re reusable shopping bags and I'll just give you a peek. I also line the inside of this drawer with the same shelf liner that I have um, on the shelves for the food. And in here we have just reusable bags that are very convenient, you know, when you're running out the door and you're packing a lunch or um, need something um, quickly. And this is our pool drawer. So we have sunglasses in our pool bag for when the pool opens up, we can um, know where, you know, keep our sunscreen and everything in here nice and handy. Under here is where we keep some um, plastic bags for running out the door and you know you're needing a plastic bag or for small trash cans. I have some extra bins down here from the dollar store that have yet to be um, purposed so I'm not really sure how we're going to use those. These um, bins I actually found at the Goodwill for a dollar a piece so I'm storing those in here and then we do have um, a little lunch box and plastic bags in here. The bottom shelf is where all of our lunch boxes live and this is actually turning out to work very well. The top shelf is my favorite part of the mudroom makeover and it is our charging station. Um, I have the same shelf liner on the top. Um, this is the charging station bin that I got at the Goodwill and here is how I have it um, organized. I have another bin inside for housing my camera case and any larger items and then to the left of it is a 31 bag that I actually found at the Goodwill and in here we keep all of the chargers that seem to be laying all over the house. So this is our charging station and it's a designated home for cell phones and charging other things like the cameras and everything. Above this is a rack that I already had so we're using that as the hat rack. And then the last part that I want to talk about is this rack that I got here at Target. I want to say it was about $19.99 and I took the um, chalk tape and labeled it here for everybody in the family to have their own designated place to hang their coats and um, anything else that, that they would use, um, like umbrellas or things like that. So that's basically it. I believe I've talked about everything. Thank you guys so much for viewing the Dollar Store Mudroom Makeover. I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration to maybe um, do something with your mudroom space uh, using the Dollar Store. So. If you don't have a ton of money, it's okay. You can actually do this on a dime. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again soon.